Hi there, this is Macy. Welcome back to Code to Create. In this video, I will show you how to communicate with Arduino through your Unity project. I know a lot of us want to make our games more interactive with physical environment. And today I will show you a free open source plugin on GitHub that you can just easily implement for your next software and hardware project. So let me first introduce you the Unity Android plugin I will be using. It is free and open sourced on GitHub. It is called RDT. If I pronounce it wrong, please let me know. And we can either download or clone the repository. So here I'm just going to download the zip file. Here, I just opened the Unity. I will create a new Unity project just for this YouTube video. To YouTube and YouTube Arduino. I save you on desktop, but you should be saving as somewhere that's, you know, easier for you to access. So here is my brand new Unity project. I will just import the package which I just downloaded from that GitHub repository. I will say assets, import package, custom package. I will just import the package, this Unity package directly and import everything. So I do get some errors on Unity because the default setting in Unity is still set up to an older version of .NET. So what we can do is click file, build settings, and click player settings. And in the other settings, we can change the API capability level to .NET 4. And then all those arrows would disappear. Here we have it. And then let's navigate to the sample scenes. So here I will open the assets folder under the adder and in the scenes folder, I will show you how to set up the read and write, which is a demo scene underscore user pull read and write. I think this is the most feature we will be using for most Arduino Unity integration. So let me just click the serial controller. So here are some informations. The port name is COM3. So COM port, it's easily, you can find it. Uh, on PC, it's under the device manager once you have your Arduino connected. Then you will see the COM name of your Arduino. However, I am using a Mac. It is slightly different when you're looking for the port name. The bud rate is 9600, which is the frequency we are using to communicate. Let me just plug in my Arduino. I am on a PC right now. If we want to find the serial communication address of our Arduino, we just need to go to the device manager. And then let's just look in for ports, com, and LPT. We open this little window. You will see my Arduino on my PC. Now it's connected to COM8. So we can replace the COM3 with COM8. I have my Arduino Mega ADK connected to my Mac. And in order to find the port name on the Mac, it's a little bit more complicated. We just need to open our terminal, which is this icon, or you can use search bar to search for terminal on your Mac. Just type this line, which I just copied all over the internet. It's pretty much list all the devices that's available. Then here, you will see this will be your Arduino. I will just copy it. And it's a good way to test out if this is the right connection or not. You can just unplug your Arduino and press up key to show the same line again. You will see that USB mode 1144101 one disappeared which means that's actually the port name we're looking for. So let's try again. Now this line is back again. So that is the exact device we're looking for. So let's just 
repl- uh, copy and paste the entire text into the port name. And here we go. But because I already have um, the some code uploaded to my Arduino, so we can actually just run it right away. So I can do things to send signals to my Arduino. And the bud rate is 9600. So here, just remember, we only can have one communication being established. So while you, we are connected with our Arduino, the Arduino editor will not have access to the same frequency of like the messages. So let me show you my Arduino code. The first thing I did is I have a Boolean here, say the light on is off. And in the setup, I set up the communication channel to 9600. So this has to match whatever we are have here, which is the butt rate. And I set the PMO LED building to an output pin. The LED building should be the D4 pin 13. So this is a good way for us to debug our Arduino code without really setting up anything on breadboard. And then during the loop, I will say if the serial is available, I will read a chart, which is A. If it's A, I turn the light on. If it's not A and it's Z, I turn the light on to false. Then I clear the chart. And in the next chunk of code, I will just check if the Boolean light on is on, then I will digital write LED high and then else I will do the digital write LED building low. So this way I will turn the light on and off based on what am I typing in the Unity software. And then the delay, I give it a second just to let the Arduino to have a break. Then we can just upload the code. So in the tool board, I choose the Arduino Mega port, which is the last one, the Arduino Mega. And then here we go, just upload the code. Now we have the program running and let's just see. So it keeps telling me message arrived is off. So let me do A. So sending A, message arrived is on. So this way it's a basic testing for us to know that we cannot communicate through Arduino and Unity. We can send messages to Unity and receive messages from Arduino and send message back to Unity at the same time. We we'll press A, lights on. We're we'll pressing Z, lights off. And also I received the message back from Unity. At this point, you should have this working and with the same method, we can have more complicated program running. We can turn on a motor, turn off a motor. We we'll use different sensors with our Unity project. With this tool, we are actually able to make our game development more interactive and more physical. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button if you really like this video. It's just a good way for me to know what kind of content is more useful for you all. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.